What is up, YouTubians? Kuda Malo here, having some fun. My toes are hugging each other because everybody needs a hug on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon, just chilling at a campsite. Okay, so let me get into it. I want to really encourage everybody to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there below. And the reason why you want to be subscribed to this channel is because I'm starting a whole Italians, we talk with our hands, a whole new series basically focused on camping, hiking, and backpacking, and more specifically trying to find the highest quality products I can possibly find at the lowest possible prices, right? The best bang for the buck series. If you are a normal size individual, trust me, you will gain some knowledge from these videos. If you are a more larger, let's say person, or if you're, let's say a heavier person, right? Camping for big guys or girls or whatever the case may be, it's even more of a reason to subscribe to this channel. How many times have you gone shopping for a foldable, lightweight, packable chair and that chair just obliterated after one time of using it? The stitching came and that is the re that is one of the many reasons why you want to be subscribed to this channel because I'm going to cover all that stuff in this upcoming season. Specifically to this video, I want to tackle two things. The first thing is my review of the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC Heavyweight Double, which is what I'm currently sitting in. Love this thing. Oh my God, so unbelievable comfy. I am having fun with my feet <laughs> in the extra foot box that is down here. Basically getting a more flat lay. And the reason why you want to lay flat, right? So basically the laying like at a diagonal to the hammock is because it's more comfortable, less stress on the knees, the ankles, the joints, the foot, the hip, the low back, the whole nine yards, right? Because a banana, a banana camping is up here. Nobody wants to do that. There are some hammocks that are designed for more larger individuals where you're just sleeping like a banana and I can already feel the stress in my knees. But having this extra material down here, the foot box, oh, it's just comfy. It's like, it's like a lazy boy. I mean, it's just so comfy, so nice, so comfortable. I just can't, I can't tell you enough good things about it. It's, it's basically like floating on a cloud is what you're basically doing. And there's no stress. I don't feel any stress on any part of my low back, my knees, my ankles, like my whole body, my upper body feels just supported, very well supported, like a little cocoon. So that's, that's another good reason whether you're big, large, small, you're normal, whatever, to get a War Bonnet Blackbird XLC. Love this thing. Okay, why did I choose the heavyweight double version? So the double basically means that there's two layers of material here. And basically the double means that I can tuck a pad underneath here that runs the whole length of the hammock. And the reason for that pad is because it acts as insulation. If I wanted to go that route, I'm going to be doing videos on that in the future, thus another reason to subscribe to this channel and also gonna be doing videos on the under quilt process and how that all works. So that's yet a reason, another good reason to subscribe to the channel. Anyways, what's going on with the Warbonnet Blackbird is they do make three different versions of this. Uh, there is a lightweight version, there's a lightweight double, right? Thinner material, but two layers. And then there's this version, which is the heavyweight double, which is basically heavier, mater heavier material able to support more weight. I chose this hammock because it'll hold up to 400 pounds. I don't ever expect to get up heavy that high, but I just want durability. I want quality. So if you're thinking that way too, you know, why not have the maximum right level of support you can possibly get knowing that what if in the future you need to put some extra weight in here? I think you know where I'm going with this. Anyways, we'll get into that in a whole nother video, but back to this one. Okay. Second reason why I'm doing this video is to show everybody a quick tip, hack and trick. Why am I holding 1.8 millimeter paracord? You might ask the reason, and I tied this in a nice little cool little figure eight knot. I don't know if I can grab focus on here. Let me try. I will try just for the heck of it to see if I can get focus. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I guess right now it's not working. But anyways, I just tied like a figure eight knot on one end. And the other end, believe it or not, is on the end of the zipper. I think you know where I'm going with this. So when you're getting into the zipper, usually, or when you're getting into the hammock, sorry, you're supposed to pull the zipper open so you don't put too much stress on the netting and the zipper and all that good stuff or whatever. Like, by the way, these zippers have never caught on me. Like, they've never caught on the material. They're always smooth as glass. But how do you zip back up, right, once you get into the hammock or once you're nice and cozy? Well, I'm going to show you a trick. Or how do you get out of the hammock when it's 3 o'clock in the morning and, oh, my God, you have to go to the bathroom? So let's try to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cord. I'm going to take my foot, go around my foot, 
oh, see how it went around my foot right there? And then j holding this end with the figure eight knot, I'm pulling gently as I'm extending my foot. And as you can see, the zipper opens. Isn't that cool? Isn't that a cool little trick? Oh my God. So amazing. Leverage, people. Leverage. Okay, now, when you're getting back into the hammock, right, basically just once you've gotten in, you could just pull on the string, gentle, 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 right? Nice and easy. And there comes the zipper right back at me. Sorry, I, I apologize for the focus. I'm just, I'm in a low light situation, obviously. But once you get the zipper close enough to where you need it to be, then you can go ahead and zip it the rest of the way. So to show everybody again, how do you get, how do you get out of this thing and unzip it? It's holding the paracord, right? 1.8 millimeter. I would try to put a link down in the description or down below. I'm going to go around my toe. Ah, <laughs> around my toe, around my foot. And then as I extend my foot, right, there goes the zipper. As I extend my foot, I'm pulling on the string to open it back up again. And now I can get out of the hammock as free as I want to. How cool is that? Thus, another reason to subscribe to this channel down there below. Hit the notification bell. Definitely in the description, I'm going to post some links to some pretty cool products. Always trying the highest always try to find the highest, the highest quality products that can possibly find at the lowest possible prices. So that's the reason why you want to hit that description section. Also, there is a link to Cooter Malloy product reviews on Facebook down in the description. So make sure to visit there. And like I said, you, the reason why you want to subscribe, the reason why you want to hit the notification bell is because in the future, I'm doing a whole series on camping, hiking, backpacking, right? I'm doing a three day, nice little trip coming up this weekend. So I'm going to be posting lots of great videos from that. By the way, if you're in Southern California and Los Angeles, and you're curious about this kind of stuff, and maybe you're available free. And like I ever post up videos like that, definitely go to Facebook, go to the products, go to Facebook, you know, Kudamalai product reviews and send me a message. Hit me up. Say, hey, you know, I'm in Southern California too. I've been interested in, in I've been interested in backpacking for a while. I'm kind of curious. I'm curious to get into it. Maybe you can maybe you can tell me about where you're going, what you're doing, all that good stuff. Definitely a reason to go ahead and go to that Facebook page, like, follow, and subscribe on there as well. Also, remember. In the future, there will be more videos on like things like jackets, best jackets to pick for camping, backpacking, hiking, best tent gear, best hammock gear, best stuff that, that is the best bang for the buck. Like I said, how many times have you all been camping when your foldable lightweight chair just obliterated on you in the middle of a campfire and you wanted something maybe that was better? Also, if you're a more, let's say, bigger, larger individual, you know that the struggle is real to try to find quality camping gear. And that's a reason why you want to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be doing reviews on all that good stuff. So anyways, I'm Cooter Malloy and I will catch you all as we're losing light fast on the next exciting video.